Welcome to this video series on ManyCam's general settings. To access the general settings, I will click on the settings icon on the sidebar. This opens the general settings dialog box. Select the appropriate language. The Run ManyCam on Startup option is disabled because I like to have my computer start as quickly as possible. The more applications included in the startup process, the slower startup will be. It isn't difficult to start ManyCam after my computer has started, so I'd rather do that. However, if you prefer to run ManyCam on startup of your computer, enable this option. The Notify Me About ManyCam versions is enabled because I always want to be running the latest version of ManyCam. And when this setting is enabled, it will inform me when a new version is available. If you have a quad-core or higher central processing unit, or CPU, you can enable multi-thread processing, which allows your computer to work on several tasks at a time. To do so, turn on Asynchronous Frame Transmission. This will significantly improve the frames per second, or FPS rate. Frames per second is the frequency rate at which consecutive images, called frames, are displayed per one second of the video being recorded or displayed. This is important because it determines the clarity of the image being displayed. The higher the FPS value, the more smooth your videos are going to look. A good example is the difference between a standard definition video and a high definition video. The hardware acceleration feature redistributes certain heavy tasks from the central processing unit to the graphics processing unit, thus allowing the CPU to consume significantly less power, which will improve overall performance. Some computers may not be able to use this feature. Settings for hardware acceleration are auto, or use when available, this enables the computer to use hardware acceleration when it is appropriate and disable it when it causes a decrease in performance. If you do not want to use hardware acceleration, click on Disable to disable this option. A buffer is temporary storage in the computer's memory where information is kept while processing other information. Basically, it's a holding tank for the next piece of information, or in our case, frames, it knows it will need to use. Double buffering, which is the default setting in ManyCam, shows one image or frame while a separate frame is being buffered or prepared to be shown next. This method makes animations and games look more realistic. Options in ManyCam include single buffer, double buffer, and triple buffer. Double buffer is usually sufficient for most video streaming and online teaching. The virtual webcam setting defaults to ManyCam virtual webcam. If you'd like to create a new virtual camera, simply click on Create New Virtual Camera at the bottom of this dialog box. Well, that concludes this video on ManyCam's general settings. If you are interested in learning more about ManyCam, please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos in this training series.